It's a misty night here in London, guys and girls. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Unity. Hiding up above the sleepy city as Jacob Fry here, ready to conquer a gang stronghold. Leaping off to wake ourselves up in this night sky. More like Night Fry as we say hello to this guy here. Because it is the night of the fries and it will be forevermore. Thank you guys and girls so much for making this the day, the night, the week of uh, Ghost Row Army as we make our way back towards what we've always wanted to be, which is the best dang channel on YouTube. Super happy. It's a tiny boy thief. I'm sorry, little boy. In a few years, there'll be a job with the rooks for you. In the meantime, shoo. And thank you for letting me complete a crowd event and giving me money. Anyhow, um, thank you so much for making this an awesome series. Really working my butt off uh, to get back to where we want to be, where we're finishing stuff, playing through it fast, and having a blast. Commentary at peak performance level 10 out of 10. Gameplay similar. Speed just as awesome. And our community the greatest of all. So thanks for making that possible. Make sure to keep hitting that thumbs up button if you're enjoying AC Syndicate and want more of it. Uh, let me know in the comments below today if you are more a fan of Jacob or Evie Fry. I don't think I've asked this question before. Ooh, we got a painter here. Or someone. Here's all the illustrations. I can just take all of them. Now I win. Or not. Anyways, um, a lot of sick people in the streets here at night. Sorry, guys. Anyways, let me know after seeing both of them play, hearing how both of them act, watching their models move. Are you more a fan of Jacob or Evie? Who would you like me to play uh, more as? Or who would you pick to play more as? in these more free roaming missions. Uh, I'm gonna be Jacob for today. Switch back to Eevee, I think. Something like that. This lady looks lost. Are you blind or scared or just practicing your poetry? Either way, we're in Okay, that's not where I want to. Wow. This is how we, oh, there's a big Brutus. All right, and we'll shimmy up, well, nothing to. Leave me alone, I'm just a poor man. Look at my hat. Do I look like any fool that you would want to ruin your night? Probably not, but you look like you're ready to ruin mine. The night is leaving. Oh, look! Stars! Sweet! So pretty. Looks like we're approaching dawn here. Alright. Luckily, we're able to cross over thanks to this big old building here. We talked about last time I need that rope uh, grapple hook in order to really uh, trapeze from street to street, side to side like Spider-Man. Or more like Batman, I guess. All right, eliminate all blighter thugs to conquer their strongholds and gain rook territory. Rooks increasingly dominate. So I guess the rooks are those green guys. I guess I have made my presence felt. Jacob has uh, created the gang that he so desperately wanted already, huh? Who's this? This is a lookout. You can run to the main shelter and call reinforcements. So that's a guy that we need to take out. He kind of looks like a train conductor. There's a woman in the castle. Kacha! I am the hawk. I am the crow. Visions of me will send you below for below, straight underneath the ground, six feet deep, baby. Punches and counters, kicks and stabs. Good night, my fair maiden. You're nothing more than a hag. Or I should, I could say hab, but then that would probably offend Canada. Don't want to do that. Anyhow, now let's head inside. Creepy crawly woman here. Oh, actually, I could probably just get her from the window still. Ha! Ah! <laughs> I like, I pulled her like through the floor. That was insane. Did you see that? Okay, that's not a bad guy, right? No, it's that person over there. I'm not going to kill you. Where did she fall? She's inside the building. <gasps> She's permanently trapped inside of the building. That's so horrible. What a fate. What a fate. Now uh, there's a little chest down there. So let's grab that while we're on our way here. No, Jacob, get down. It's like a madman's monkey. He wants to be wiggling his way up the tippy top area. There's some uh, police officer constables. I don't know why I call them constables. Reminds me of like a, what's that game called? Dishonored. That's kind of the look they have. Evil ladies, chests are plenty. Two guys there, make it 20. Walk this way. Talk this way. What kind of zigzag thing are you doing, woman? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Instead, we kill them right on their crown. All right, there's a dude here. Ten blighters. I like this. I like the mix-up of missions. I like how we're going back and forth between story and open world. Jacob and Evie. Single targets, big targets. 
more stealth stuff, more action stuff. It's a nice, fair mix. Game has really got a good first couple hours going on here. At least in my opinion. Halfway done of the Gang Stronghold fun. Um, thanks for the... Uh, my throwing knives are full. So I'm just going to get this person with the knives. Just to make it look cool. Come on, Jakey. Wakey Jakey. That's what I always say to my brother. He's so sleepy. He'll be like, I don't even know what hit me. This guy is trying to get... Peace out. Free, free, free. Free fallen. What's gonna happen to me tonight? Whoa! Hey! They're doing battle because uh, they're opposite gangmen or whatever. See, using the uh... Must be one of the clinkers. Hey, what's up? Using the knife on her then opened up the arena for us to deal better damage to the others. Um, this could probably be a double assassination. I presume. Or... If I can get it high enough. Right in her top pad. Oh, she like took a step back. Now I'm here. If I climb up here, this might do the trick. I think it's the best parkouring I've seen. I saw someone on Twitter uh, said like they do parkour and this seems like the most realistic of all. I don't know how I feel about that. I've never parkoured myself, but it's probably true. It feels the best of all of them. So I gotta agree with you. I think it looks the best. I think the animation system is the coolest. Must be one of the clinkers. Good place to start. Okay. Oh, these are clinkers, so they aren't they aren't rooks yet. They're they're just clinkers, and I'm gonna turn them into rooks. All right. From green to black, I'm guessing will be the we'll wear black. All right. There's this evil woman. Does she have a gun or is it an umbrella? Definitely a gun. Who is this? It's a, it's a somebody. I don't know. I could have kidnapped her, but whatever. Ta-da! Stronghold. Saved. And I freed the clinkers. Boom! So those are clinkers. Henry Green, we were almost loyal enough with him to earn a knife. They're gonna burn the blighter flag. And give us some extra XP. And I don't know what three and five are with Henry Green. His loyalty levels there. I'm not sure if those are like blueprints or, or something like that, maybe. Anyhow, we have stuck another knife in the side of evil. The Templars no longer hold control here. It's so awesome. Now there's a free chest. We'll grab that on our way to Catch an Urchin. All shops and then the glitches. We're going to go speak to Henry Green first. Ooh. You seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. What, this guy just appears? The heck? Okay, it's a gang battle. Boom. Gang warfare, I guess. Ow, I definitely press circle. I'm not sure why. Oh, I poked her eyes out. That's gross, man. Ooh, dang. Oh! Alright, thanks guys. Hey, I'll recruit you. Recruit Rooks to fight right alongside you. You're no longer Clinkers. That name inspires no evil and no, uh, no, no sense of fear in our foe. We gotta be daunting in appearance, in name, I'll take care of this. Even in in outfits, you guys might want to consider changing. I mean, I know I'm I'm wearing teal, but if we're gonna work together, maybe you guys should. Wear, I am like, look at look at the how many green dots are around me. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if they're gonna follow me or if they're just gonna be mine now. Will you be mine? Will you be mine? They are following me. Hello, friends. More money, more goods. All right. So we'll head to the the, uh, the urchin mission now, I guess. It's pretty cool. We've got a a group of guys. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can. Yeah, I do. I have a band. All right, you guys chill. Bye. I can call them at any point or something. Oh, okay. Let's disband this group. I'm sorry, guys. You've been awesome. 
Please go and live your lives. Do what you need to do. These people are cho Hey! Leave them alone! Why is that not a safe society mission? Rather than fast travel or, or run the roofs, I'm going to run the city streets. One, so we can see cool stuff like the Queen's Head and go inside there. And two, in case there's a save the, the city like civilian thing. I want to get that off. We buy anything in here? No, this is a pub where people are playing around with their worries and with their words. Um, we're real close to catching the urchin. We're not real close to catching the urchin, we're just close to starting the mission where we attempt to. Um, I got five throwing knives, which is good. Any citizens arrest we can make around here? I want to be the Shaquille O'Neal of this city. White Chapel's baby Shaq. Alright, yeah. That's what they all say, chop. Alright, well, I don't see anything. Could recruit those guys, but I don't need them right now. What well, up here? That guy looks like an old fashioned British Bill Murray. And now I'm gonna make my way to, uh, to Kitchen Urchin. Which looks like it's on top of this building, apparently. Oh no, it's this. It's Evie. What's up, Evie? Street rat, Kit Kat, please don't eat that Claro Day. That's who we're going after. <laughs> and it's back to nighttime. Man, Jacob and Evie need a lot of naps. I guess that's what this symbolizes. The fact that they are sleepy babies. Something like that. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are oh several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. Sheesh. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. Oh, Ouch. I'm late for an appointment. <laughs> what are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Little businesswoman at age eight or whatever she is, twelve or something. I don't know, one of the two. All right, reach the warehouse. I've earned a skill point. There's a ball and chain, which I guess symbolizes the fact that uh, kids are being put to work, and they should be. And this kid is standing up for all kids and saying, "If you want our help and our assistance, which they'll give us by finding out little bits and bobs of information, then you have to help. You have to help." So this is a. Uh, Child Liberation, Radcliffe Mill, but first we're doing this one, right? I, yeah, Radcliffe Mill, but first we have to go there. Reach the point. Okay. Get get out of here. Infiltrate the factory and rescue the children of their squalid conditions. Liberated children can provide you with rare craft, which is cool. All right, so free all the kids and kill all the masters. It's pretty nasty in here. The Whitechapel Sawmill. These poor children are being put to work, and I hate it. I've entered blighter territory. Who's this? He's like a zombie. He's the leader. Leaders are important characters in any layout and are stronger than other enemies. Killing them stealthily will scare nearby enemies, making them flee. Oh, nice. Alrighty, this guy is coming to say hello. I'm gonna say, watch out. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? A headshot? Is that what you want, baby? How you like me now? There's like a pile of chairs up here. We gotta free the children. This is like a great job for me. <laughs> not that not that I live in a place where I have to free children, but you know what I'm saying. Is there anyone on the second level? Boom! Foreman! And now the enemies are gonna flee? Oh god! The, for the foreman's dead! As long as they don't run upstairs, I'm cool. You cannot run upstairs, alright? Do you understand? 
I think they do. I hope no one's like, no one's coming upstairs, are they? And no. And oh, that guy almost, but not really. They're just running away. Run away, love. Run away. Run away. Run. I think almost everyone is gone except this guy. Oh, nope. There's another. Okay. <gasps> Dude, did not see this guy here. Back to work. Oh, it's a lady. It's a little evil lady. I don't know how little evil ladies can be so evil. All right. I'm right here. Thanks, Mr. Pie. I gotcha. I like how they know my name. Children know everything. Run away, loves. Knife kills are so fun. Aha! It's the last guy in the area. I think. Nope. There's that guy. Look at his big bald head. That's the alarm bell right there. Alright. You're free, boys and girls. Look at this man. Look what they've done to you. Free the children. Throw the body. Launch that guy. Hush now. Alright, we're good. Not triggering alarms. Grabbing back my knives and uh, taking dudes out. All quiet style. Not wild style this time. Quiet style. Poor kids run off. I hope they have families. I'd be so sad if they didn't. Uh, I feel terrible. Um, there is a chest outside, and there's also another one at a higher level. I'm guessing it's on this floor. Nope. No, but the kids are. Okay. Oh, it is. There's this. And there's another one. It looks like it's on even a higher level. Why can I not get that? Is it cause oh, I can. Okay. I was going to say, maybe I can't come in mission, but that wouldn't make any sense. Get out of here, chillin'. Thank you. Bailing you guys out. Beat it in the nicest way possible. Didn't trigger the alarm, and the clinkers, otherwise known as the uh, the now the rooks come to save us. We get a we get a belt, a sash, an outfit. Looks like it's for Evie, and then three something or others from Clara Day. Clara Dea is really how you'd probably pronounce it. And that does a pretty good job of wiping out all of Whitechapel's uh, corruption and coverage. Now, the big battle, uh, the gang warfare battle with our, our main squeeze, Kayok or whatever his name is, Kaylock, -ok, okay, this guy, gang leader Kaylock. We've completed all the activities except that one, which is the gang war, um, and cane swords and adept cane sword are what they suggest, I guess. Got a lot of collectibles. There's still one of two uh, locked treasure chests in the area. It's not marked on the map yet, but we can head there in a second. Let's grab the other chest. I think it's on the third floor here. Um, and actually, we'll bring... Well, not yet. Um, good, to see you again, sir. good to see you too. The chest is right around here. Where is it? It's got to be above. Yep. First of all, there's one of these things. Glitch City. And then, is this one locked or no? No. I was hoping it was one of the locked ones. They have rare materials or sometimes colors or whatnot. Now we've got green men all over. And I kind of worry because I see them like, oh crap, I'm about to get spotted. But it's not not the case. Confronting uh, Rexford. Rexford is his name. What kind of epic name is that? This guy, seriously, his parents named him after a dinosaur. It's pretty darn awesome. Oh, there's... Kill criminals. Okay, we can save the city, so we'll make huge progress here. Double assassination! Yeah! Alright, crowd event set complete. That gives me 500 pounds and anything else? Uh, yeah, but it was it was for a cause, baby. Oh my god. Some, some of these citizens, man. If only they understood. There's an alarm bell in this area, so let's take it out. Just because this is a thing you do in Assassin's Creed. Cut the bell! Jump! And I feel so much more swell. I don't know if that gives us any XP. It doesn't look like it. But I just feel like a, a more of a complete dude. So we'll head to the gang war. Um, from here, I might stop at a shop along the way. And uh, prime my throwing knife 
stockpile. Uh, so that I'm ready. We'll do that right now while we wrap this episode up. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And enjoy this episode as we freed kids because we're a good person. And now we get to buy knives because we're sometimes not the best person. But all in all, we have great intentions. And this is shaping up to be a great series. 13,000 pounds, baby. Till next time. Hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure that thumbs up button if you're ready for more. Get item. Hey, can I have the item? It's like a little sister Bioshock. What do you got for me? A rare... What is it? What was it? Hey! Is it like invisible? I don't know what he gave me. Hopefully it was good. If you guys know where to find it, let me know. Till that time, everyone. Drink so much. All thanks for watching. Fantastic day. You are awesome. I love you so much. Thanks for being the best fans I could ask for. Till next time, we will see you all later.